Hello, my name is Michelle Thornton, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the School of Social Work. My, I have been at the University of Akron since 2008, and I am the Bachelor's Program Coordinator for the undergraduate program at Maine Campus. So the School of Social Work, oops, it is... Um, part of the College of Health Professions. So that's where we are. And where all the programs in the College of Health Professions really come together is that we focus on well-being and improving quality of life for um, everyone in our communities. And so what we do is really work also on being interprofessional and spending that time to work together while you're in school kind of to prepare you for when you're out there in the world in your profession and we're all working together. So our college is made up of a variety of different schools. We've got allied health, counseling, nursing, nutrition, and dietetics, of course, social work, speech language pathology and audiology, as well as sports science and wellness education. So we are the School of Social Work, and while we're located there, you know, when I'm, our mission really, again, is to focus on preparing students for competent and effective social work practice. We are really committed to empowerment and strength-based practice that also utilizes our critical thinking skills for the purpose of really engaging with our community and strengthening systemic well-being. So the undergraduate program, which is what people traditionally think of as a four-year program, um, we offer two bachelors of arts degrees. The only difference between the two degrees is the amount of foreign language that you take and it's students' choice which degree they're going to pursue. Both of the degrees are accredited by the Council on Social Work Education. This is important because accreditation determines your licensure eligibility in when you go out there in the real world, regardless of what state you happen to live in. We offer our undergraduate or bachelor's program on three campuses, the Maine or Akron campus, our Wayne campus, which is in Orville, and our Lakewood campus, which is in Lakewood, Ohio. And the, the main things that we do in our undergraduate program is really prepare our students for licensure, for practice, and then if they're interested for graduate education. We, like most uh, professional programs, have an admission process. So the first step is getting admitted to the University of Akron, and then you're going to be working on your admission for the School of Social Work. So to be eligible for full admission, you need to have successfully completed all of your pre-admission liberal arts-based courses. You need to submit an application and have earned a cumulative or overall GPA of 2.75 or better. So those pre-admission, those early social work classes you're going to take, there's four of them. Um, diversity in social work, intro to social work practice, intro to social welfare, and human behavior in the social environment one. And these courses are going to give you a nice intro introduction to what is social work, um, our profession, and what to expect moving forward with your degree. In addition to the social work classes, our liberal arts space also requires that you take other classes in psychology, sociology, political science, human biology, English composition or writing, and quantitative reasoning, which is your map. And these classes are also um, part of your general education curriculum. So the application process. So the first uh, time you apply to enter the School of Social Work is after you've completed 30 credit hours with a 2.75 or better cumulative or overall GPA. So 30 credit hours is really, you've completed what's considered to be one full-time year of your degree program and you're starting your second year of the degree program. Then what you're doing at that point is working on your application to become a full major. So you're going to apply for a full major um, after you've completed all your pre-admission classes, you've submitted your application, and you have maintained that overall GPA of 2.75 or better. So when you're in the major, what kind of classes are you going to take now? So for social work, you're going to take five practice classes social work ethics, social policy, research, you're going to take an additional human behavior and social 
requirement course. You can take classes in mental health field education, which I'll talk a little bit about more. Um, and you're going to take electives. And that's your opportunity to really explore some of the different areas of social work practice in more detail. Some of those opportunities for those electives uh, include our specialized programs that we offer in addictions, child welfare, and the resilient child. Um, and there's lots of great opportunities in those as well as other things in the school and across campus. So field education, I said I was going to talk about that. Field education is what some people think of as an internship or a practicum. You may have heard those words. It is required. All students complete field education in the agency of their choice for their last two semesters prior to graduation. So what you've been doing is really learning about social work and practicing those skills with each other in class. And then before you graduate, you're going to go out there and spend two semesters in a local agency under supervision, working with real clients and practicing those skills you've been learning. There are many field education opportunities available in the area um, that our students use for all of our campuses and you are able to choose where you want to go. So there's lots of great opportunities for you, regardless of what your interest in your area of social work practice happens to be. So great opportunities for student engagement as well. Um, we are part of the college's living learning community, if that's an interest to you. We also have student organizations uh, for each of the campuses. For main campus, it's a student social work league, which I mentioned because I happen to be the liaison for. Um, but there's also student organizations for the Wayne and Lakewood campuses. We have uh, two social work honor societies that are invitation only. They're Tri Alpha and Phi Alpha, which we are happy to invite our students to join. There's lots of different professional. Uh, development opportunities in our school as well. Um, you may have noticed in some of the previous pictures in the slides, you know, we have pictures of our students going to local conferences, um, engaging in volunteer opportunities, community engagement, working with people, uh, and all kinds of things throughout the year. And it's really student driven and uh, we encourage that as well as opportunities for licensure prep before you graduate. One of our big events that we host every year during Social Work Month, which marches National Social Work Month, is a Social Work Career Fair. And that is for our current undergraduate students, our graduate students, as well as our alumni. So you're always welcome back. And this is strictly for the School of Social Work. So there's lots of opportunities that you can learn about for um, employment on all levels levels in social work, as well as field education and volunteer opportunities. It's a great experience and we really um, encourage students to come and if nothing else, just learn more about who's out there in the community. So again, it, school, your classes are important, but also you want to make those memories. We really uh, encourage you to engage with other students in the program, the larger campus, community as well as the community as a whole. And there are lots of wonderful um, formal and informal opportunities for you to do that. So, you know, please take advantage of what's out there. Our director for our program is Dr. McCarriger, um, and he, as well as us, are always happy to speak with you about things that might be going on or if you have interest in any of our programs. So for questions, you know, feel free to contact the school. You'll see our contact information below. That's the, um, the email address is for all of our campuses. It's a general information that you can find out about the School of Social Work as well as the homepage for our website is there, uacron.edu slash social work. Feel free to look at it and learn more about it. And please feel free to contact us before to the university and after you come to the university before or after you've been admitted to the school of social work and we're happy to speak with you i hope this answered some of your questions and go zips <laughs>